Hello there, my name is Kelly Harlton. I'm a survival and wilderness skills instructor, assistant to Morris Kohansky, who's standing here beside me. I've got the honor of being his understudy. Um, today we're gonna do what's called the butterfly hank. So a very convenient, secure way of keeping your, in this case, paracord from being tangled up. And also an, uh, when you need to dispense it, um, you, you don't get any twists or tangles. We're about to demonstrate that. So as you can see, it's rolled up and it has what we call a, a button on there. And, and if I just take a little pressure off that button like this, I can pull out the amount of cord I need. And then I can tighten the button again and stay organized. And if need be, I can cut this. And the whole magic of this butterfly hank is the way in which it unfurls. So I'm gonna loosen the button again. And I'm gonna give the end to Moore's. He's gonna go for a hike. And if you can see that. And at any time you can uh, tighten the button should you need to. And you'll see that as a And there lies the magic of the butterfly hank. No tank. No tank. So in order to, to, to make the butterfly hank, there's a couple different techniques, but an easy one is to hold it on your, on your ring finger of your winding hand. And then you'll notice I'm doing a figure eight pattern. It's just as easy to move your hand as it is to move this hand. So the hand that you're winding on, it acts as the, the winder, if you will. And it shouldn't take any more than 30 seconds to roll a hank up with a little bit of practice as opposed to the five minutes it takes you to untangle your hank at the other end. So I've left a little bit left over. I'm going to pinch it between my index and forefinger. Then I'm going to take it and I'm going to put three twists in. One, two, three. I'm going to put it over top of the loops on the end of the hank and over top of my thumb. I'm going to pull, pull my thumb out, go past my thumb and then put my thumb back in and I'm going to tighten the button. Yes, that button maybe is is very much the same as in the Prusik or the taut line hitch. The principle is similar, multiple windings in the right direction with regard to the tension, but it just happens to lend itself to this application. And uh, Maybe a blurb on the history. Well, that's pretty uh, yeah, interesting. The, the only place I ever saw this in the literature is a book in the university library on the construction of the Bantu uh, house that's built out of Phragmites. So the Bantu live in a part of Africa where it snows just like it snows here. And here and nearby, we have a lake that grows the very same cane, Phragmites uh, communis, basically. And they build their residences out of this by tying them and bundling and so on so that you know you virtually would have to have an axe to chop your way in they're they're built so sturdily that they're secure and so on but it takes an awful lot of thatching and a lot of tying and they've got a various um, vines that they use and and cords and to hank it up to be able to do the stitching and binding they would hank that up and I thought oh I've never seen this in the macrame macrame people didn't know about this little button that that uh, that is in there because uh, there's you know a lot of people many situations you hang it up and then you wrap it around and then you half hitch it or whatever but in the end if you feed everything out there's usually knots and everything in your string whereas the feature here done right there's nothing residual after you have completely exhausted your your hank so, uh, so it's another one of those little things that that uh, gives you uh, you take a little time and you earn your plumber's wages. <laughs> <laughs> useful, useful tip, thanks. Which is uh, one of those things that everybody sort of, the little thing that impresses people <laughs> is the way you hang up your string. Sometimes it's the, you know, I do courses that relate to knots and ropes. It's the first thing I teach because if you wait to teach it, then everybody's ropes all tangled up yeah, <laughs> early on yeah. in the course. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, the new, the, you get the baler twine. And the person who is taking that string off has never done that before. 
And so you might as well teach them the right way to hang it up right from there. And when everybody takes their share, uh, you know, it's a big mess and a lot of wastage if the hank isn't done properly, like we would find in, you know, university programs. So if you teach people how to make a tight, neat hank, you, you find that uh, that's the way that a student very quickly could get their share of cord. And, and in the end, you don't see people dealing with big snarls. Yeah. Because when they wind it up and, and do it, don't do it right, one way ticket all, to all very quickly yeah. uh, becomes a snarl. It's these little things that add up eventually, and and by the time you're 75 years old, <laughs> you you have uh, saved countless hours of grief and frustration. <laughs> That's a little thing. And created lots of content for the videos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, thanks, Morris.